Welcome to Haslat and Makarwar's channel. Today's video is about repairing an aluminum cooling hose. And to do so, we're going to be using this water well made by JB Well on this 4th generation 20 fiber equipped with an LT1 engine. The cooling pipe that we're about to repair using this product is part of the oil cooler. This vehicle has a system that coolant flows through an oil cooler that is mounted in between the oil filter. By doing this, the temperature of the engine oil remains cooler than what it would be because of the friction and the usual high RPMs that these engines tend to run on. A few days ago while I was doing routine maintenance I noticed that there was a small crack in one of those pipes. First thing I did obviously called the auto parts store to see if they had them available. It appears to be that due to the age of the car they're a little bit harder to come by. So I figured you know what I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and see how it works. That way, if someone else is interested in doing the same kind of repair, or maybe the vehicle that you're working with has an obsolete aluminum pipe, this is a good experiment. This is the first time I'm gonna use this product, so this is gonna be a new experience, and we're gonna test it and see how well it works. Uh, according to it, it has a strength of 900 PSI, it sets in 25 minutes, and the cure time is one hour, and for anybody that cares, the cure color is white. Uh, it's supposed to work on fiberglass, PCB, plastic, copper, brass, iron, and aluminum. And according to the product, it says it's ideal for plumbing, tubs, showers, drains, fuel tanks, marine boats, portable water tanks, resistant to water, oil, gas, diesel, hydraulic fluids, and most chemicals. So, supposedly, based on what I'm reading, it's good for just about anything. But we're going to test it on this because there's coolant running through it and the pipe gets to a pretty decent temperature, you know, 195 to 100 degrees on a regular basis. So this will be a good try. So I'm going to bring this up close so you can see what the description is. And then I'm going to show you the pipe that we're about to repair. Okay, so getting under the car. If you see the coolant, the drop of coolant right there, it's coming from right here. You can see that it runs down and it forms a drop and eventually makes it into the ground like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this pipe completely, sand it down a little bit so the product can stick. Plus I'll make sure there's no coolant present so it doesn't affect it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dry the coolant with this towel. And I'm going to use this 180 grade sandpaper to sand it down so the product can stick. Okay, so wipe down the coolant. I'm just going to sand it down like I said. So product sticks. So that way I don't have the problem that it didn't stay on it because it was too smooth and there was nothing to adhere to. And just to double check, I'm gonna touch it with my finger to see if it's dry and it's completely dry. So I was right, I don't need to drain any of the coolant to be able to do this. So it's time to mix the product. Okay, so open the package. So it's, so it's a two part epoxy. I'm just going to cut a section. And if you look at it up close, I'm going to show you up close what it looks like. So, just like any other two part epoxy, it has resin and hardener. They're two different colors. So, what's next now is to mix them really well until it becomes one even color and is ready to apply. That's how most epoxies work. Like I said, this particular one I haven't used before, but it's not rocket science. They all work the same way. So the next step, like I said, is to mix it really well. Just peel the plastic. Now I'm just going to use my hands, okay, but obviously in your case 
if you don't want this stuff to get all over your hands, just wear rubber gloves. Okay, so it has a nice even color, so it's time to apply it. Just gonna apply it firmly with my fingers. I'm even going to go around it a little with the excess. Since, like I said, I'm putting the whole thing on. So it's going to overlap on the top. Creating like a ring around the whole pipe. This is a closer view, and like I said, I'm applying it firmly with my fingers. I already said it goes all the way around like a ring. Actually, the product being a white color makes it look clean. Okay, so I have the product on. So now I'm gonna wait the entire hour because even though it sets in 25 minutes, the package says that it cures in one hour. So. It is noon. I'm gonna wait till one o'clock. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna start the engine and make sure that there are no leaks. So I'll just fast forward the video when I come back at one o'clock. Okay, so it's been slightly over an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine.